I, I, uh, this tattoo, this is a prison tattoo right here. I, well, that thing's pretty so fucking. I was looking. I've been nice. looking at that. That thing's pretty fucking incredible. And let me tell you. So I go to the pen, and uh, and but you didn't have that at Coleman. No, like, that what is it? One, and did you understand one. that this is like not you? <laughs> this is not how I see you. I got, well, you know, I'm business gangster now. It's a new <laughs> thing that I'm trying. Uh, I this is a, a, a Michael Archan the Archangel Arch Archangel Michael mm -hmm. stepping on the devil, but uh, so I go to the to the pen and the big thing at the pen is getting tattooed, so I'm like man I gotta get tattooed you know I gotta I gotta get ink mm -hmm. so I call my daughter's hand like ah, man I gotta get some prison ink and my daughter's like that you're so stupid you know <laughs> you're not gangster and uh, you are like a white collar criminal and. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, and I'm rapping to them like, you know, like Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Damn, I got bitches. Damn, and they're like that. Stop it. You are, you are just, you are brown. Which, by the way, I'm told. I was told after your podcast, somebody corrected me and said, no, you are mocha, cinnamon mocha. Cinnamon mocha. <laughs> nice. I said, ah. So I tell this guy, I said, listen, I want to get tattooed. He goes, okay, you gotta make your own ink. I said, how do you do that? He goes, well, you gotta get Vaseline. You make a fuse out of toilet paper, and then with a battery, you light it up. You put it inside of your locker, and you let it burn. That, that black dust, I guess, I don't know what you guys call it. Ashes. Like the ashes that uh -huh. stick to the sides of the locker, you take your ID and you scrape it in a piece of paper. Then you get shampoo. You take the alcohol patch from the diabetics, and you put a couple drops of alcohol in a little bottle, and then you shake it, shake it, shake it with the ashes in it. And you shake it until it turns black. Then you run your finger. And when it runs, you tell the guy, it's ready, bro. Let's get this done. Wow. So he goes, well, you need to get the needle. And I go, well, where do I get the needle? He goes, you got to go to the church. Guitar, and take guitar the guitar. String, guitar string. And cut one of the strings. Uh -huh. So occasionally the priest will be like, dude, we're missing five or four strings from the fucking guitar. Can you guys <laughs> stop tattooing, please? You know? I mean, we cannot sing. So you get a piece of the string, they strain it out, they burn it up, and then the tattoo gun is made with the motor of a wall clock, mm -hmm. a toothbrush, uh, and a pen. And they put the needle through that, and they start tattooing you. Jesus. That shit is so toxic that you break into a fever for like two days. Jeez. And you got like the shakes for two days, and then you got to wear long sleeves because if the guards see you tattooed, and it's days. fresh, yeah, yeah. you lose 54 days. Once that is healed, they know you fucked them. So once that is healed, you're taking your shirt off everywhere and you're walking out of the shower. Mm -hmm. Feeling and good. then they'll call you like, listen, come here. You didn't have that when you came in. I'm like, yeah, I did. Well, we, dude, we have a picture of you without it. Yeah. Now let's come in, let's take a new picture of it. Pluck, pluck, pluck. All right, there you go. So yeah, so I got my, my tattoo, my ink. Did, uh, did, you ever, did anybody that you know or did you ever get sick from COVID when you are in there? I got a couple of friends that died of, out of COVID that you, really? you that you knew because they came from Col they died there yeah, they came from Coleman, a Dominican guy named Manolo dark skin he used to play softball that was sounds a familiar yeah. yeah he was in Coleman for a long time he died of COVID. Well, but the uh, tattoo is kind of like a uh, a prison vaccine, getting getting all those all those uh. Well, but some people get like MERS and shit like that because oh, they get yeah, tattooed yeah. and then they go take a shower and and it's just like they, that's bad. That I've seen some people art get all fucked up but you know how much this this was a pair of shoes 25 bucks 25 bucks damn and the guy told me listen i'll do the whole sleeve for 250 some mackerel some stamps and i was ready to do it but they moved the guy so you know now i come out of the streets and I, this was 350 what are you doing bro Gangster, bro. Business gangster. That's the future, man. Matt, why didn't you get any tattoos? I'm getting tattoos. He has look some. Up, look at He's me. He's got some. He got a tramp stamp. Do you, know. you have a tramp stamp? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Do you guys got tattoos? Don't say no. stuff I like that. I have one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Do you? I, I just actually tattoos. recently got yeah. it for a friend of ours who was uh, learning to get tattooed, and she had to do some like. Free oh, you tattoos. don't want to do that. Yeah, I did it. No, no, no. You don't want to get a tattoo from a guy that you started. You don't want to get a vasectomy from a guy that you started. <laughs> just, just, just certain things you don't. You don't you don't do it with guys that you started. Well, not doing a vasectomy, but the tattoo was cool because it was. I, I had no reason. I had never had interest in getting tattooed before, but it was like a. Is it good? Did it turn out? It's good? It's decent. Yeah, it's decent. It's all right. Yeah, you get addicted though. Yeah, it is. I can see how it's definitely addicting. You definitely want more. And then you see it, and you're like, man, the one that I really wanted mm -hmm. was this one. So I can put. And then before you know it, you're working on a, on a sleeve. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're running out of canvas pretty soon. You're. 
Listen, this is the guy that had a bunch of procedures done on him, and he's complaining yeah, yeah, that yeah, I got yeah. a fucking tattoo. <laughs> Come on. What if I don't like it? Like, <laughs> like my fear is it's, it, I have a fear of commitment. Like, what if, what if I, I get something that's, like, trendy now, and, like, five years from, pe from now, people are like, that's stupid. What were you thinking? Like, my brother actually got a tattoo, and it was that, that you guys don't know what this is. It's the keep on trucking tattoo, where there's a guy walking towards you in the front of his foot on the bottom of the sole it says like keep on trucking his so his foot's real big mm -hmm. and then he got another one of like tweety bird and it, he's got like these stupid tattoos that he later i'm like what, what, what were you doing he's like ah, it was it was cool at the time they had shirts and i'm like yeah but it's trendy he's like yeah but i didn't know that yeah. i didn't know it wasn't going to be cool later it's like it everything's just stupid like he's got all these ridiculous tattoos and then he's got other tattoos that are just like not him. It's like you have a knife with a snake going through it. Like you're not a, you're not a biker. What do you, I thought it was cool. It's like stop. I saw a guy in prison getting his whole head, whole oh. head Louis Vuitton, really, like a purse. And I, I, <laughs> so I, I, I had a guy. I actually drew yeah. out a bunch of, and his whole sleeve was a uh, uh, Louis Vuitton. The pattern. I, yeah, the pattern. I, I met him when he didn't have that, and then I saw him in Oklahoma, and I'm like, what the fuck. And he's like, yeah, I know, man. I said, <laughs> what were you thinking? He's like, oh, I don't know. I said, well, Louis Vuitton will hire you. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, you have a job there. But yeah, the, 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 the skull is a little bit too much. Mm. And then you have the guys with the tears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're sad. They're very sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy world in there. Yeah. I mean, all the different prisons and pens that you went to. What was like? What was the worst one you were in? What was the worst prison that you were in? Obviously, Coleman was probably the nicest one, right? Oh, Coleman was Coleman was the nicest one. Coleman, I th Coleman was pretty good. We I were talking about that Coleman was day. great. I, I thought mean, Coleman was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I thought. Listen, I thought it was great. It, it was started great. getting worse as time goes by because mm -hmm. they well, the drugs they they start getting in all that K two um, the K two yeah. ruined it, mm -hmm. and then you had uh, the state start uh, stop picking up crimes, so the feds were picking up these these 18, 19, 20-year-old criminals for little shit. Mm. That used to be state crimes before. So we had a bunch of kids in the prison running around and picking up fights and, you know, doing stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. and, but Coleman was good. I'll say the last one, the one, the D. Ray James, the one where they had all the immigrants. Because that was a... I was going to say the ICE facilities are the worst. ICE facilities, you have no rights because you're an immigrant, mm -hmm. basically. And, and, uh, and you're getting punished twice by the staff. See, in prison, the staff punishes you because you're a criminal. So the guards look at you like, you know, the judge didn't give you enough time, so I'm going to make your life fucking miserable. 